Hey guys, welcome back to Sam Gates Technical Tinkering. Today we have an iPhone that is disabled. So we're going to try to get through that. First thing we need to do is turn the phone off. Make sure you have a USB connected to your computer. Take the other end and hold the home button and plug it in. And keep holding until the recovery mode comes up. All right, so once that in, in recovery, you see this window pop pop up. Uh, you can try to update it. And if update doesn't work, we can try restore. So now it's telling us it can't be updated. but we can restore it to the factory settings. So let's click on that. Click next. Agree. So it's now updating. Now of course you need the iTunes app. I'll leave a link on the bottom to download this. So we'll give it a minute to download. And it has finished updating and the phone is restarting. Give it some more time. Now you should see the loading bar, which means it's loading. And once it's done, you should see a sign come up on the screen saying update is complete. And phone should reboot. And the phone is still disabled. You might see this pop up. Click on continue. And give it a moment. So we're still waiting. Nothing on the screen to respond to. So what we're going to do is we are going to restore it. So go ahead and unplug your device. Power off. And leave iTunes open. So once your phone's off, hold the home button and plug in your device and wait for the recovery and when it's all plugged in you should see a screen come up there's a problem with the iPhone so let's click on restore are you sure you want to restore the iPhone restore and update yes so let it restore there So I just turned off and on the phone. It's loading. You'll see the power bar come up again. I mean uh, the update bar. Just let it load. So when it's done 
restoring screen will come up click on OK and it should reboot into factory settings now it's loading factory settings let's give it some more time you should see your iTunes go blank right around the end and here's where you put in your Apple ID and username so we'll just go ahead and do that so once you got that done you're back into your phone don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and stay tuned for the next video how to reset your phone with Odin Apple ID.